Hey everybody, welcome back to Workers of Resources, Soviet Republic. I hope you're having a great day today. Our new technical service offices have just finished. At least this one has. Uh, we're still waiting on that one over there to get its road done. It's working on that right now. And uh, the first thing I want to do, I'm going to pause it. Uh, this garbage problem is starting to get a little bit out of control. Okay? So... If I take a look at the waste overlay, we got 131% here, and you, you really got to watch this. You really got to avoid this, uh, avoid this problem, I mean. So um, every once in a while in this game, uh, every couple of uh, in-game months, I go in and I look at this overlay to see how the garbage situation is. Because if you start noticing high percentages consistently and they're not going lower, then chances are you don't have a good enough garbage system. And this waste right here is pretty consistently filling up with the mixed waste okay now they got a lot of biological stuff in here which is weird because they were supposed to put it in here but they didn't so there's that uh, and garbage trucks are, are going around here but we don't have enough of them all right we still need more so what i want to do is i want to take this this technical service office uh we're going to copy the sources to this one and then i'm going to grab waste trucks and there is the new rmn 12-215 garbage truck and this thing which i'm gonna make I don't know, all orange let's try it all orange i actually like the white trucks but it doesn't really i guess it doesn't matter does it i don't think so uh all orange uh so these things can travel 95 kilometers an hour which is a pretty good improvement and big improvement they do 10 tons of mixed waste they can do 10 tons of waste on their trips so we're gonna fill up this place with uh, a bunch of garbage trucks we're gonna buy a whole bunch of them since we can afford to do so now obviously they're coming from the border but the hope is eh, the real hope is that they'll get to work very soon so that we can uh, address this issue before it gets too out of hand because we're gonna see actual pollution here and at the moment it seems fine but uh, the longer we wait, it looks like there is a garbage truck there right now to pick that up. That might be why, yeah. But uh, I, I don't want to have any garbage issues. And especially since we're going to be expanding eventually, we need more garbage trucks there. I'm also going to need technical service offices and stuff over on this side uh, to you know manage this garbage issue too. So I'm going to go over and let's put another technical service office. Uh, I was kind of hoping to... If I put it over here... And, and keep in mind, right, it's, it's going to be delivering it all here. So that's actually a pretty convenient location here, too, for this. So I'm going to say that there's a technical service office located. Gosh, like right on the highway, though. I mean, we could have we could have it on one on both sides. We have garbage trucks and snow plows and stuff located on both sides. That's not a bad idea, I guess. Yeah, it's just it's going to create this. It's going to make this a higher traffic area. And I'm, I'm kind of thinking of maybe putting it on the other side where there's not as much traffic already you could put it on the other side of the tracks kind of thing yeah how about this road i don't think this road is necessary we could put it over here near the tracks i like that better just slip this over did i just disconnect that no okay uh slide this over and we'll put it over here i think this is a better better fit for this for garbage trucks anyway right about here should do it i'm right there uh, and then we'll just have this road cross the tracks. Well, at least I thought we were going to have the road cross the tracks. What happened there? Can I... There it goes. Had the road cross the tracks and... Uh, had it curve after the tracks to there. Alright. So these guys will, I think, be able to handle garbage in Cernakova pretty well with one office with all those RMN trucks. I think they'll be able to handle pretty much everything. Let me check this truck, this train really quick. We're exporting 13,000 units of food. And we're only bringing in 50% on crops. I, I think it's probably a good idea to get started on constructing another farm. And to take a look at the other farm. I do want to do steel. I do. And, you know, like I could do that in this video, I guess. Because I think there's probably some more flattening work to do though and I, I haven't quite gotten to that yet but I, i'd like to but i haven't quite gotten to that yet i'm pretty sure it's like right over here is where we need to flatten everything right or at least take the take the elevation down from here the idea is that 
we want people to be able to walk from a very central drop-off point for trains to you know to drop them off so you kind of have to just you know, i'm kind of eyeballing it right now i know that there's resources right here for coal pretty sure coal is right what's right here right yeah so it's it's kind of like here ish not sure exactly where i'm going to place this and yes i could do this i could just to see what the percentage is here but there may not be there it might be better positioning somewhere else let me just see what this does when it when it turns green so this is a 55 percent it's not too bad you might be able to just get back i mean it's pretty much in the middle i'm seeing yellow on that side so I don't think it's gonna get much better than 55 maybe 56 or something I don't know I'll, I'll do it later because I, I think there's a, a more important thing to deal with right now and that is crops so if I take a look at budget and I go to even just this month we could probably see crops as a pretty significant import uh it's now our biggest import aside from the electronics and you know like getting mechanical components and electronics and electrical components and all that stuff going is oh, over here is a pretty important thing um but i think you know for our food supply and not having to have the crop train going back and forth there i would very much like this crop train to uh you know get in and start working with the distribution office instead of having this custom route um because this isn't my crop train it could end up being my crop train because it's diesel and the crop train is probably going to be a diesel train. Uh, I'll probably have a fuel station for it, maybe located right here, and it'll probably pop off of this uh, tank or something. But this would have to be full before I could do that. It has to pop off of this tank. Yeah, pretty much. Well, we, we can uh, we can we can look at it. In any case, uh, let's talk about an expansion to our fields. Okay, so we've got a lot of fairly flat land it's not super flat but it's flat enough to where we won't get interrupted with our fields and we have all this oil over here we're gonna we're gonna be working with that Kira rush right here we're gonna be working with uh the oil that's right here too and if i remember correctly there's no other resources in this area we have no bauxite here no uranium aside from up there we already marked that uh there is a little bit of oil but we've already marked it so that's where Belsaros, whatever it is. We have Kira Rush right here. That's got oil right there. Uh, no iron to speak of and no coal in our area either. So this is pretty safe to just say anything that's not already marked and with, with pump jacks in positions is a place we can farm. So I'm thinking we just put in a whole bunch. These are the big fields. You can see how much room we have over here. It's a lot. There's a lot. I might want to flatten this. I think probably... I think probably I'm gonna look to flatten this uh, over time. Yeah. Let me get a feel for how I want my fields to be right here. It's probably gonna be a lot of mix and match here, and I, I just uh, I want to get a feel for where stuff is gonna be. Uh, the, the the rail is gonna come straight through here. I already got that nailed. So I'm thinking the farm should be located maybe right about here. This should be an okay place I think for the farm to be. Um, what we'll want to do then is we're going to want to have a massive storages we're just going to need lots and lots of crop storage and uh we're going to say i think that the eleven thousand unit one is probably where i want to go here it's a lot of storage but i think that's where i want to go here so if i take this big storage and i kind of go a straight line from this it's not totally straight and since i it's since the grid is kind of jagged i won't be able to get it right on uh, but what I can do, I guess, is, is just make the rail straight, right? So if, if the rail is going to be right here, then we can just say that the rail is going to be about like that should be straight. Pretty good. That sends it all the way out and marks that straight rail for me. And then that is going to be tied to that one right there coming straight this way. All right, so let's say... Right about here is where I want my storage to be. So we're going to dial that back. And we're going to say that the storage. Eh, it's over here. Yep, uh, The storage, giant grain storage, uh, is going to be located, let's say, on this side or that side. I think it's, I think it's, uh, this one is lined up with this side, looks like. Kind of. I'm kind of trying to judge pixels and it's probably not going to work. We can always 
we don't have to have it completely straight. So I guess just pick a side, right? Uh, so I say uh, we'll, we'll pick we'll pick this side. So we'll say it's lined up with, with this side right here. So this giant storage right here is wow, really? <laughs> uh, I want that straight though. I want it. I don't know why I want it straight. I just I just do. All right. It doesn't matter. Just tell yourself it doesn't matter. It's going to be fine. All right. The trains. But you haven't built it yet. That's why it's, that's why it matters because you haven't built it yet, Charlie. If you can build it straight and you should build it straight. So just come over here and say, hey, by the way, this this rail here, it's straight. And then it it kind of goes. Good enough. OK, cool. Uh, so everything's straight. And then this comes all the way over uh, in this direction as well all the way out to here and then it just kind of pops in right there all right so this is where we're going to be storing a ton of our crops this is a fairly central location because big fields are going to be all over the place There's, i'm going to have two large farms two large farms and probably eight distribution offices and they're all going out doing all the things getting as much crops as they can and they're all shoving it into this building right here all right that's what they're doing uh everyone shove it into this building so for the farms then because i want two large farms we're going to say a large farm is going to be off of this side and we can put this right up against it that's completely fine uh, i don't know if it's really necessary to have this be right on the storage though um we could you know we could play around with where it's going to ultimately end up being and i think the field positioning is is going to be pretty critical to kind of figure out too we're not going to farm it this year we're going to give the soil time to recover because most likely i'm going to have to place fields and, and take them away and place them and take them away a okay, general progress report we've got a lot of big fields all lined up in rows right through here the entrances to these fields are located on this side so we're going to have a road that goes straight over like this all the way across the front of this like this and then crosses over we're gonna have it do the same thing uh, all the way over that way too now I don't know exactly if these are gonna be completely lined up by doing that so I'm just gonna kind of use this road as an example and uh, I think I pretty much nailed that being totally in line here so we're just gonna kind of do this and connect them up and all of these fields are full size right next to each other looking pretty good i think in my opinion uh, of course we do want these roads to be faster than this and i'm going to make them asphalt at least the main roads here are going to be asphalt eventually but to, to just lay out the plans to make sure it all works uh i use the dirt roads to i use the dirt roads to plan it out yeah that's it uh, and then to make them asphalt roads, I probably will disconnect the farms from them. So I, I'm not going to make them asphalt while they're uh, while they're connected to the fields because it's just like multiple jobs instead of the one. Uh, then we're going to wrap this road around. Uh huh. Like so. And it'll just right along the side here like this. And it'll meet up with this other road over here, which will then connect like so. All right, so they're all wrapping around. Then I left a little extra gap in the middle right here so that I could put another road between these fields just to kind of help the distribution offices getting where they want to go. That should give them just a little extra path to run down between the fields. Uh, looks good. These are not completely lined up. It, there's a, it's hard to line them up. It's, there's a trick to it, and uh, I'll show it to you right now if you're, if you're interested to get these things to where they are not interfering with each other and basically lined up. And uh, sometimes it works. Sometimes it, it's a little harder to, to see how it works. But this is, this is basically how you do it. So I've got uh, the fields here, of course. And to line this up to where it's the same, I'm just going to take real quick and pop that way so I can see the road indicator I use the road indicators to see whether or not I have the correct angle so if I can over overlap this and have it be completely on then that's great if it's a little off then I won't be able to completely match it up and I know I need to rotate so it'll be like this uh, if you're playing the game yourself you'll get smaller rotations by holding control uh, okay so I'm going to go over here and I'm gonna place the first field and it's roughly here I think is probably a good spot to, to do this uh, and then what you do to line up the fields again it's a little tricky but what you want to do 
is you see the 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 post or the the fence right there in the front okay you want to take and line that fence post to the inside not the outside of the dot if you do it to the outside of the dot it's not going to line up you can kind of see where the fence line is in this overlay but it's a little difficult sometimes you want to line it up to the inside of that dot and leave a full dot between the fence and the field so in other words right about here should be pretty well aligned and uh it's a little bit off but again it's it's not a huge deal if you're a little bit off but that's how i line them up uh i use the dots and uh it does it does work most of the time uh, again you can kind of see where the fence is but it's sometimes it's difficult to see especially depending on your monitor it's sometimes difficult to see how that lines up uh, but I'm just going to lay these fields in about like so. And it, all the way down to here. Now, these are all the big fields, of course. We want the smaller, medium fields to be uh, about there. Smaller, medium fields are going to be closer to the farm. And then we're going to have the, large, the larger fields more out. About like that. That's, that's a little off, but whatever. The big row here, uh, I didn't leave a gap, which is what I normally would do, is leave a gap through here for roads. So I think what I'll do is I'll leave the gap. Yeah, there is no gap. Uh, not a, No gap at all, actually. I, I messed that up. So I'm going to have to... This is what I mean by you're going to have to replace the road sometimes. So I think we're going to leave the gap there. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete these. Of course, that will ruin the fertility of them. It'll have to recover over time, and uh, I think that's still fine. I'm also noticing that there's definitely not getting full coverage here so there might be an elevation issue that's preventing me from putting these in uh it does look like there's something going on there so let me just kind of real quick do a terrain smooth oh i don't have bulldozers in the area of course i don't well yeah that's that's my bad i messed that up i wanted to get a road that can go between this right so let's just take this road and we're going to stretch it down uh should be we have the, the outline at least, so it should be pretty easy to get this straight, I think. Right about right about there should be good enough on our road, right? So we'll plan on that. We'll plan on a road going straight up through here as well to get into this area. Okay, and then this road comes over and straight, and we should now have the basic outline of where our large fields are. Are gonna be in this area I'll just kind of get this to be straight out that way it's good enough I think that's good enough and then this road comes up and meets with that hopefully straight yep there we go we'll get rid of all of these extra points here so that we can uh, get these to be paved and we'll start working on asphalt roads and stuff for this stuff um, I, I think gravel is most likely fine um, because all of your farm equipment is like really slow. They're never going to get to asphalt speeds. I'm more or less trying to help my distribution office trucks to getting things because the trucks will be able to exceed the gravel road speed. I'm just not sure whether it's whether it matters. And so I guess if I can try gravel, if it looks like we're not quite getting everything gathered and there's still storage space left over... Uh, at that point, I could then say, okay, well, let's, you know, let's pave the roads with asphalt and uh, see if that makes a difference. So maybe maybe it's one of those things where we'll just do it as we need it as opposed to doing it ahead of time. I don't think that's straight, but I'm going to let it go. Uh, and then over here, we're just going to say, uh, most likely I've already left the gap. So we'll say right about here, and then this road will end up curving up as, as we do. Uh, so I think we'll just leave a gap right here. Actually. Yeah, let's just not do that And uh, now I can go in and start paving the roads now You might notice I, I removed the Storage because it was just a little bit too close and where I placed my fields was Because of where these pump jacks are so I needed to position the fields to give the pump jacks some breathing room uh, then We have all these over here. All these are underground pipes anyway So I don't think that's gonna cause too big of an issue if underground pipes are an issue for fields we can always take the pipe around this direction putting pumps and stuff in, in in place over here and then wrapping it around it's extra piping which which sucks but uh i i need the fields to be in place and ready to rock um and then 
over in this area i think we'll uh sorry in this area i think we'll have some medium fields right through here along with all of our storage and logistics and all of that stuff too so let me real quick go ahead and place this grain storage one more time and uh, we'll flip it over i'm gonna do it this way and that looks like it's about what i need so let's put this uh we want to leave a little bit of a breathing room here it's gonna be a long train so i don't want to get in the way of the road so i'm thinking probably right about here should be acceptable i think that's i really don't want to get in the way of the road how long is this train gonna be i think maybe there is okay there and like that okay are we uh are we ready to say that this is this is done now i think so i think we're ready to connect this up um obviously we want to harvest these fields first and I, I honestly it's probably not worth tearing this down until we actually have a crop train and it's ready to serve and then we also have crops here ready to go so that's probably yeah but this is a really big crop operation all of this is farmed so we're going to expand it over time as we need it. We're not going to over farm, but uh, this is sort of like the game plan. So for these fields, we will go ahead and grab the farms. And each of these farms can uh, support up to 30 vehicles. And that means with 30 vehicles, it, uh, I believe it means anyway, that we can now uh, support a metric shit ton <laughs> of uh crops so we can we can do 30 30 medium fields we'll have 60 medium fields total in here which is just insane but 60 medium fields will allow us to be very efficient because we'll be able to get to a medium field work it and then get to another field without refueling and then continue on with everything else this area is kind of reserved for all the logistics and stuff that we need for it. So we're not really going to be doing much with this area. And then once I figure out how much spread out or how, how everything is organized here, I can then have the fields wrap around it. I'm very confident that I need to spend some time with this area and making sure that it is going to be flattened. So we're going to take excavations and or excavators and stuff over here uh, in the future as well. Uh, real quick check of our waste issues. Let's make sure that we're not overflowing here. We have more garbage trucks now, which are great. And it looks to me like we're... By the hospital is uh, another thing that you have to really pay attention to. So this one's still 100%. And you can see all of our garbage trucks are in service. They're not... You know, they're actually doing something right now. They're in service. Uh, real quick check on bio waste. This can't store mixed waste. This is another issue right now is that the mixed waste I really wish this building like if there's one thing I would change about any building in the game it would be that this building has two factory connections and this isn't working it's just sitting here it's it's in range but it's not it's not working they're not outputting the big containers into this at all so that's another issue that I think really seriously needs addressed um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to take one of these. I don't even need to take one. I'm going to just buy it from the border. I think. Uh, let's buy this from the border. If I got to use one. That'd be great too. Waste truck. No waste trucks. Ooh. <laughs> oh, come on now. You know we have to. Oh, go on then. Should we? I feel like we need to take the loan to get this. I feel like it's worth taking a loan to get this thing. I'm going to say 200 grand and we're 200 grand in debt, but my gosh, we got another, got ourselves another tunnel boring machine, <laughs> which we're going to scrap that one. Uh, or, yeah, that one's 32%. We can scrap that one. That cost us about as much as the first one did, didn't it? And then that's, you know, with inflation and everything, that's pretty good. Uh, okay, so let's go into buy new vehicles. Uh, I want waste trucks. I want one of these RMs. We're going to make this like a gold one, I guess. Yeah, and uh, all I want this truck to do, scroll down here. Uh, heavy personal right here, you. All I want this truck to do, first I need to have you report to a depot. Otherwise, I can't give you a route. So we'll have you report to a depot, and then your route 
is going to be taking waste out of this. All right. And I would say bring it here. And I think that's probably the best call just because it's a really quick route. So I think you're going to load mixed waste and you're going to unload it here and you'll just wait until unloaded. There's multiple spots in here to park, so that's fine. That and we got to do something about that because otherwise this building is not going to operate. If it's not operating, that means biological waste can't be delivered. If biological waste can't be delivered, then these trucks just wander around with biological waste in them and they can't export. And that means that all these waste trucks are just ineffective. They're not doing anything. They're not doing what they're supposed to do. And it's all because there's this massive line for biological waste because they just go up here and then they turn around and they try to deliver it over and over and over again. And this is just wasting fuel, wasting resources. And it's all because this is not working for this building. It's just, it just isn't. And then there's another little one over here too. You might think, oh, well, you have the wrong type. No, I don't. This is a little one. I tried the little one too. It still doesn't work. So this building just does not export its mixed, its mixed waste to the other stands. And that's, that's the real issue here. There's a little bit in here, but it's, it's meaningless, right? And there's no electrical connection for it, but I don't think you need electrical connections for these things. I wouldn't think anyway, but this thing is kind of saying that it view electrical connection. Does it actually need electrical connection? I mean, we have electrical there, but I actually didn't think we needed electrical for this. Maybe that's why it isn't working. Maybe these do need power. Ooh, hey, that's uh, that's a new thing. Yeah, power consumption. Interesting. Power consumption for the big containers? Weird. Okay, well, I mean, that does that does open up uh, open up an eye or two, doesn't it? Huh? So maybe that's the cause of this whole problem. Uh, maybe. Just out of range. Like, everything is just out of range. But yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe that's what I got to do. Um, tell you what, why don't we... Uh, I don't have hardly anything left to do here with uh, lines, so I'm going to have to take another high-voltage line out this way. We need power for the fields anyway, the farms and stuff over here anyway. But I thought there was... Isn't there another connection available here? I thought there was... I mean, you're, you're traveling this direction to get power here, and that makes sense for this area. And then meat production, of course, is over here. We're not going to do meat production until we have the fields starting to get worked, because all these crops are going to be ate up by this uh so like that's why this whole area is just nothing but farmland uh i think i need to run extra cables off this way maybe we could try renewable power it's expensive but we researched it 17 tons of steel perhaps we just take a very small wind turbine which would be way faster i think this would be way faster if i just pop this right here and Let's call it good. How about we build this? I think it's faster and cheaper than running extra lines, power transformer, then more lines and substation, etc. We just pop this little thing right here and that provides some intermittent power to the storages and perhaps that will allow this mixed waste to jump in and uh, get into here for the garbage trucks to pick up. Um, that might fix my entire problem. Uh, in which case then that garbage truck that I just bought, I'll just assign it to a new office which is this office and uh, this office we're gonna want waste trucks here too I'm running out of money here again but that's okay we're spending spend 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 uh, let's do a different design I don't want it to be the same design as I just did with that other truck I just bought I think it was this one right one two three four we'll go with five trucks here for now I may just choose to reassign that other truck uh, or I may choose to use those extra slots for some more snow plows Possibly. How are we doing on bitumen? 83. Okay. It's not too bad. Lots of fuel. I like this. Uh, let's just go ahead and have you guys sell. Still not allowing you to do it on your own. I am still selling fuel intermittently until I really see that our number of workers here are stable. I think that's still the best call. I think, though, because we're going to be doing roads. Yeah, we already have it. There it is. So I adjusted these guys' route to where they fill up with bitumen. And then they come over here and drop it off. And then they fill up with bitumen. And then they sell it. 
So we're basically selling half the amount of bitumen we were selling before. That's just because we're using it. I'm you know, upgrading roads and stuff. Okay, so this thing still doesn't work. I went ahead and invested in this little wind turbine. I'm glad I did a small one because the stupid thing doesn't work still. So in addition to this truck having 10 tons, and it gathered the 10 tons from here to bring it here, right? That was the route that it was supposed to take. Well, it's supposed to be dumping the stuff here. It's supposed to be unloading the container. It, it can't do that either. So this is basically just a pickup spot, not a drop-off spot. So I don't know exactly what's causing this. If you know something I don't, please leave a comment and let me know. Uh, I just, I don't understand what I have to do to get this building to get the waste out of it so that it can start to continue working because otherwise the biological waste will just build up and then my waste trucks can't deliver it. So at the moment, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to tell it to go over here and drop it off instead. So mixed waste is going to go here instead. And you're just going to have a dedicated route where you unload uh, waste all the time. And I might even I might even do like a wait to loaded thing here, which I can't do. Uh, this building just needs to have multiple factory connections. It's it's really silly to have to deliver directly to it, and uh, and that this like a mixture of things inside here. It's just it sucks. I don't like it. Uh, so anyway, it's a drop off. It's it's a pickup zone, not a drop off zone, but it's a pickup zone that doesn't get anything put into it. So I I don't know what's going on there. Uh, regardless. We need to pick up waste here. I mean, I need the trucks to continue moving through here too. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that dedicated truck now will be able to clear that out. Uh, the other things I wanted to update you on before we get going, we're going to look at steel next, is I've started construction on this large school. So we have 5% unemployment right now. That's a little misleading because the only reason we have 5% unemployment is because of the low education. There's 271 citizens with a low education. And if I take a look at the school, you can see that there's a lot of students in the schoolyard. There used to be like a couple hundred in here. Uh, so they're starting to get educated and the unemployment rate's starting to drop, which is good because we want productivity to go up and 271 new workers could be, you know, doing clothing or be in the fabric factory or in the food factory where we can get even more food, right? That, that kind of stuff. Uh, it's a really good thing. I want them to be educated. Uh, so to help with that, especially as we expand to having more houses in the future, we're going to get the large school uh, starting construction there as well. Uh, we also finished the little sewage tank here, which is like basically instantly full. And so it didn't really help me much, did it? Hopefully the sewage trucks will get on that while our construction crews handle the piping, which I have now set as a high priority uh, to get the piping all the way over here so that sewage can be automated in this area. Uh, last thing, and then we're going to get to steel. Promise, I've, I've placed all of these fields all the way out here to the border. I've now got them all placed in with the road going between them right here. So if these guys are on the farms and stuff, they can get to the other side pretty quickly and get to where they need to go. Probably, uh, thinking back on this, might have been a good idea to, instead of having this road wrapping around, having it cut through, like maybe here would have been better. But... It doesn't, I don't think it'll matter much. Uh, but we have all that stuff there. And then there's going to be uh, 15 medium fields per farm, not 30. I misspoke. There are 30 vehicles in the large farm, but you need one of each type. You need a, a, a tractor and a harvester. Uh, so in total, 15 fields, uh, medium fields for each farm is what we're going to have. So there's four here, uh, and then the roads and stuff that wrap around to get access to the grain storage as distribution trucks and stuff will be doing that. We'll have farms, farms, distribution all over the place, and then more fields, more big fields will be wrapping around here. I will work to flatten this over time because... Uh, Obviously, we can't farm on that. So I will work to uh, flatten all this terrain as well. Okay, let's talk about this beautiful, beautiful place over here. Mmm. So nice. Isn't it nice? It's just really beautiful landscape. I like it. We have steel, obviously here, and that needs workers. We have coal mine, which I've placed here. This is a 56% quality location. It's the best I could get. Uh, and then this one right here is a 65%. And that's the best I could get for iron. So we have iron mine and coal mine, okay? If you haven't seen me place these before, you saw me place them up there, I think. But uh, we also have another coal source here we can tap into if we need to. 
So there's some green there. Uh, and then there is uh, two different sources of iron. This is the troll face. You might remember that from the first video. Hi, troll facing me. Uh, and going along with the troll face, they've also placed some iron in the water. Isn't that wonderful? So we could uh, take away a little bit of his hair here. Maybe give him a little quick haircut and uh, get some more iron here if we need to. Might be a little difficult to route that with the conveyors, but uh, we'll manage. We'll go low with the conveyors here so that we can uh, go over top of it. Or maybe we just go high and, and go low. It doesn't matter. I think I think we'll be fine. All right, let's talk about storage. So each of these have are gonna put out ore. How much ore are they gonna put out? Well, uh, we are looking at coal mines can do 4.2 tons of coal ore per worker. 220 workers, we're getting about 920-ish, 924-ish coal or maximum. However, this is a 56% uh, quality spot. So what we're actually looking at is about 517-ish, I think is my, if my math is correct. Uh, somewhere around there, about 515 uh, tons of coal ore will be pushed out here, which means for the coal ore processing plant, which can take 210 at most, we're just going to be looking at two of these things uh, at most, and that will kick out 240 tons of coal. 240 tons of coal, well, this thing can consume 375 at max. So there's a good chance that we're going to need more coal accessible to fully saturate the steel mill. But what we're really looking at here is just making steel in general. We don't need to fully saturate it yet, but if we can bring coal here to cover that little extra gap, that would probably be a good idea. So we're not going to hit the maximum on coal. Good. We have expandability potential. Taking a look at metallurgy, iron mine, four tons of iron ore per worker, 250 workers in the mine at most. That gives us to a thousand, but 65 quality source, 65% of a thousand, 650 tons, 650 tons of iron ore. Again, kind of the same situation. We're not really going to see uh, a point in a third processing plant. It's just not really necessary. Um, we'll have extra ore built up maybe, uh, but we're gonna start with two processing plants and that'll get us at most 210 tons of iron. 210 tons of iron. If we take a look at the steel mill again, there it is. Uh, 210 tons of iron is a fully saturated steel mill. So we only need two processing plants. No, regardless of how much we can mine, there's no point in processing more because this thing cannot consume more than this per day even if it's slapped at 500 maximum workers all the time, which it never will be. So that's what we're looking at here. So two and two uh, with the potential to get more coal. And uh, if we're gonna get more coal, it would be over here. So I would mostly just take the uh, coal, expand it here, and then get a separate processing plant in range of our uh, workers, and then uh, send it over to the processing uh, third processing plant which would be probably over here somewhere so we just got to plan that out for the future is what i'm saying so let's uh let's talk about that plan first let's start with aggregates we're gonna go with a thousand tons on the coal ore i don't think there's really a solid reason to have any more aggregate uh like overflow here so um i want to i really want to level this out i think it's a little bit too high because I need to be able to walk to that building. And I think in order to place this, I have to flatten it. So let's see about maybe going over here. I just need the walking path to be able to get underneath this. So I actually need it really close, which is good because it also is cheaper with the conveyor. So I guess we'll go about like this. We'll flatten this out. Um, this does put the road on the opposite side. I don't know if that's the right call. But I think this area is going to be a little bit more difficult to manage with roads potentially. So I'm going to do that for now because uh, I, I need access to the road over here anyway. So we'll have it uh, placed there. This aggregate storage, of course, does coal ore. Shifting over then, we want to make sure that we're sending the coal ore to processing plants. So let's go over to fossil fuels, coal processing plant. And we are going to look to have, I think, Probably right about here would be a good place for it. I don't know how close I really need to be here. So I, I think I'm going to go right here. I'm just trying to stay out of the way of the walking path that are necessary for workers. So let's put it right about here. Flatten this area. Nice to have excavators. 
bulldozers and stuff. We'll go there. We're going to rotate it with T or mirror it with T. Uh, line it up to where it's the same. And then we want to go about here. I think this is probably fine. Yeah, right about here is good. And then depending on where the roads go, that's going to be the one we use for the, the tall one. Uh, so these storages come with mostly really low inputs, but there's always two that are high. You have the, a high input and a high export. And depending on where my roads are, I need to make, make sure I keep that one high so that the roads can go underneath it. Uh, so if my roads are going this direction, which I'm going to assume that that's the case. And to be honest, connecting those two things makes no, makes no sense anyway. So let's wrap it around like this. And if we're going to go under here, I think I go this way with it. Uh, let me see what the elevator is going to do first. Uh, before we do the elevator. No, we should do the merger first. So we'll do this merger. And let's use the one where we lift up the out. Because that way we can get roads and navigated and stuff a little bit easier that way too. So we're going to use this one. And this one, it's pretty damn important, honestly, that you get that road. So I'm thinking maybe I angle it this way. That, it's it's difficult to do this because the roads, right? That road tool, you have to get the road out. Otherwise, you don't have fire coverage. So I'm thinking right about here, as long as it lets me do the road, which it may not. Can you use the back one? Surely you can use the back one there, right? Come on. You got to be able to use that back one. I may need to pull this out just a little bit more that works and that works it's just not letting me do it uh automated but that that totally works uh and then as long as the road comes out it does good all right so we have a road out there very nice uh and then we need to figure out where the storage is for this now i'm thinking more coal storage is a good idea um because we may also bring it in with a train from somewhere else i may not i may choose not to import this i may choose to instead bring coal from somewhere else like over there uh, or over here and bring it in so if that's the case then we're going to want to have a big buffer zone for the coal so i'm leaning towards the 2000 uh i don't know if there's there's not a whole lot of cost difference between the 2000 and the 2500 but there's a big space difference, I think. So you get this one, which is pretty long, and it kind of takes you all the way over here, which is cool. Uh, and then you have the 2500 one, which is kind of more stubby and more wide. Uh, I don't know if it's better to have one or the other, but if we are going to do a train to deliver things, maybe this is the better call. Uh, we want this to come in high so we can get all of the, uh, all the roads and stuff navigated. So I'm thinking probably... We go about like this with it. Let's let's use the big one, I guess. We'll go 2,500 here. Uh, and then as long as this out will go there, which it will not. Because a building is in the way. Okay, well, I need to have this place the way it needs to be. So we're going to say... Uh, I can swap the road to the other side. That's a good idea. Yep, and then we'll put this right about... You should be able to reach both of these. I don't see any reason why this doesn't work. Yeah, that works. And then from here to there. Okay, so that's our coal. Coal's done. Big storages, room for roads to pass through. We're keeping these up high so our roads can go through. And it's particularly important that we can get the factory connection here through. And it looks to me like that might be a problem. But if I place my storage first, I think this will be redone and it will work so i'm going to place some steel storage first and you'll see what this is useful for later um we'll just do a small one and i'm going to give it a little bit of space i don't want to crowd everything let's give it a little bit of space uh we'll go with uh the road needs to be on this side there we go and probably here would be okay yep and we'll just make this as short as possible okay uh, and then we want to go ahead and make this a one way. And then let's see if this will connect again. Oh, come on. <laughs> You're just like so stubborn. I have to have the posts this far apart. 
so silly that that pillar is in the way. I get rid of that and then... Come on now. Don't be this way. Yeah, it's going to be this way. All right, well, I'll move this and see if we can't... I should be able to get that through. All right, something's really bogus here. That totally fits through. I just need to move this closer. Come on, fit. <laughs> it's it's kind of silly that you're just forcing me to take this curve when you can literally just slam right into there. Man. All right, let me play around with the spacing on this. And I'm going to take the storage and stuff for iron and everything. Everything's the same process. It's just storage, processing plants, storage, in. right? That's the same thing. So I'm just going to do that really quick so you can see the design. And I'll be right back. Okay. I think I got everything in place the way I need. So uh, quick recap on what's been done here. So I've got the storage right here. It took a little bit of terraforming and stuff. You know, I had to alter the train quite a bit to get this stuff to work, actually. It's getting very, very tight in here. Uh, iron mine here. Storage comes in through the side. Uh, and then we're going to have to hopefully route this road down uh, to here. So this road will come down like that. Instead, uh, the passenger train station also connects there, too. And then we have the road connection, which will then meet up over like that. So all the roads should uh, be allowed to connect through here. Now, I've got the rail... Because this passenger rail station also needs a train, right? So passenger rail station comes through here, squiggles all the way down, and uh, hooks up to the main junction. So uh, we, sh we should be able to build a rail all the way into this now. Um, the only thing that isn't connected at the moment is from here to here. And that is, I think, not a fault of the rail, but a fault of this road, I think. Um, if I just take this away, can you, can you please connect? I'll say please. Does please work? All right, please works. <laughs> uh, and then we'll have this road go between that. And then I can squiggle or I can make it look nice. It'll eventually be... Uh, I think I'll probably do gravel roads through here. Uh, we don't need everything to... Yeah, everything will be gravel, I think, through here. It's fine. Uh, okay, so that takes care of, I think, pretty much the entire steel setup. Pretty much. So coal will end up here, 2,500 tons. Iron will end up here, 2,500 tons. And it's all raised up very high so we can get roads through here, which is a good thing. We may need factory connections, but the other thing I might want to go through here are conveyor belts and engines and stuff to also deposit into these two storages, right? From remote locations, right? So we are... We have, a, we have a rail that's going to come in from this side, too. That's the steel rail. And then uh, through the steel rail, there's three of them, right? Through from this side, what I might do is an aggregate unloader. And if we get the aggregate unloader, and it doesn't have to be very big. It just has to be a little one, I think. So let's say that we're going to go off of the back two here so that we end up with this one. And then we don't need any more iron. We shouldn't need any more iron brought in uh, because we're maxing it out from here. So we may need more coal brought in. And so what we're going to have is real quick, we're just going to have one of these aggregate unloaders. I think putting it maybe about here would be okay. And that's just going to let us load into this from uh, a rail source as well. Okay, a little one here. So we end up with a rail that goes like that. These two are going to come all the way over in a straight-ish line, I guess. I don't want to make... I, I, I don't know why I care about straightness. I don't know why I care about it, but I do. For some reason, lately, I just care about everything. Just straight lines. Maybe I'm just getting old. <laughs> Maybe I'm just... I, I've lost the creativity of my youth. Okay. So, straight track. All the way out that way. We're going to have it meet up there. And then also this one, which is going to end up going... Uh, from here, let's go about this long with it, and then we can have it merge. And it doesn't need to go this long. And we'll have it merge uh, here, as well as uh, over here, too. So it'll just be like, like that. And then also, from there, we also go like uh, that would be fine, too, I guess. We'll just let it go a little bit further like that. That looks a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, then. 
Yeah, so if it's going, it, it'll go from this way and it'll drop off the coal and then it comes back and meets up with this track as it goes, right? I think that works pretty well. Uh, we, we could also maybe do like a little bypass in here. That might, if, if there's, I don't think there will ever be two trains that do this, but if there is, we'll just adjust the, ra the track. I'll bring this out and we can let things bypass each other from there, all right? So from here, this is where cargo trains come in. The passengers are over there. They need to be getting there as quickly as possible. Cargo can take its time a little bit more because it, the cargo that it's hauling is not on a timer, which is what people are. People are on a timer, so have to make sure we move them as fast as possible. So do that for now. I don't think there will be a reason to go the other direction, but if there is, we'll build it then. All right, last step of this, we have, of course, coal and iron ore, but we also have this. It's a factory connection that comes out. Be one way, and it drops into this open storage, right? And this open storage will combine with the coal, uh, or combine with the steel road here, just to kind of give road access to whatever we're going to do, wherever we're going to go do it. Uh, we'll have the road come across here, I think, is a probably a good idea. And uh, we'll have you meet up here for now. And then uh, this road will, I think, come this way. It needs to come out as close to here as possible because I have a lot of space. I have a lot of stuff I want to do with this space. So I'm thinking, pull this back a little bit and bring it about here. There we go. All right, and then we'll just bring it all the way out here and then the people can start working on it, okay? Uh, that's kind of it for this storage. This is steel that's going to be used in the manufacturing process of other more advanced stuff. And in order to get those advanced stuff, I got to have research done, which is something I should have been doing at the start of this video, knowing I was going to go into steel and I just, uh, simply did not. <laughs> so yeah. anyway, uh, we need to go into engineering for this. And then there is another step after that to unlock for mechanical components. So we're going to let engineering go to work. Uh, and then from here, let's do the foreign pipeline connection. Why not? Uh, we are down to 1% unemployment now which is which is bad we don't want it one employment one percent unemployment is a bad thing so let's go ahead and have these three homes built as long as we have all the stuff in here it looks pretty good we're doing pretty well on the logistics of bringing that in and then i can also maybe get so many different nodes on this road we don't need that many nodes nobody's even using this walking path anyway so let's just get rid of it that gives me one less node to worry about there. And then I can go ahead and try paving that road right there. I get that asphalt there. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? This little bit here probably should get done with asphalt too. So we'll go ahead and get that added to the schedule too. Um, they're still not done with this. Kind of I kind of pulled them off to do other things. So let's just kind of allow them to complete that. Probably be good. And then we now have our garbage problem solved for the most part. I'll go 3,000 with these. Nah, let's go 2,000 with these. Let's keep them in town. Yeah, we'll keep these ones in town. But now the garbage issue is solved. I have way more garbage trucks than I need. And that's great. I don't think you can ever really truly have more garbage trucks than you need. I, I disagree with the idea that that's even possible. But that's only under the consideration that you are expanding. If you have no plans to expand, then obviously there is a perfect balance number. But since I am expanding, I can just move these trucks wherever I need them later on. Uh, I can also open up some space for other things. So uh, for example, I have spare slots here. Why don't we go in and buy some snow plows? We can get these big Kaz snow plows that plow at 43 kilometers per hour. And we'll just put three snow plows here and then we can keep the roads uh, hopefully keep the roads looking good there too uh, let's go ahead and maybe get this part started uh we're gonna leave at least one part of the road open so let's let one path open but uh yeah it's good yeah i think everything is uh everything could potentially be working in our favor here very very soon i, I see the money going up slowly now though because we are again buying electronics but with the imports of vehicles and everything too it's a little bit of a different thing we would have a green balance if i hadn't imported anything there total import right now electronics is the big one so chemicals and crops and uh i think crops are first i think crops are more important uh hang on a second i'm noticing we're not importing meat though no meat in a couple of months the supply is dropping is it because my meat truck is it's getting fixed i maybe it's 
damaged. Uh, actually, it may be a damaged truck. This is my electronics truck. Probably should be taking this distribution office truck and fixing it pretty soon. Uh, I think there's a problem with my refrigeration here. Also, there's totally a problem with you. Uh... <laughs> I'm not sure what the heck's going on there. Uh, and then, yeah, my refrigeration truck, I don't think is attached to this anymore. I think I took it away because it needed fixed. And uh, I don't think I know where it is even. I put it in a depot to get fixed. Maybe it's in this, maybe it's in this depot over here. There it is. 47%. I mean, it was at like 100%, so I'm glad it's at least getting fixed somewhat. Uh, here's a waste truck we could assign somewhere. Are you big containers? You look like a big container truck. All right, big container truck. I'm going to put you over here so you can uh, handle garbage on that side, I guess. Okay, uh, I did everything I wanted to do today, I think. I think we're pretty solid. Um, the only thing I can think of at the moment is letting it run and uh, kind of tweaking certain things, like maybe designing the rest of this city. We have a little bit of... I think we have a little bit of time left in this video, so uh, why don't we try to uh, add additional housing and stuff over here. Uh, we're going to get this going. The, the thing about this, though, you have to be very careful, and that's the reason why I haven't really fully committed to the city yet. Um, like we're going to build it, so there's commitment there, I guess, but uh, there is not actual progress being made on this yet because when you add your second city... That's when the game the game takes a new level of difficulty right there. All right, everything becomes just a little bit more complex, and so you want to be really sure about what you're doing here. I think I'm gonna go like this. Yep, uh, and then maybe I'll leave that alone, and we'll have other services and stuff through here because we need. Probably gonna need other schools and stuff. Like schools and kindergarten is over there. Uh, there's a supermarket here, which I'm starting to think the Okeen supermarket isn't gonna be sufficient. For this many people, I think it's fine, but if I'm getting any more like over here, it's probably not. Um, we're definitely gonna want a medical university on this side too. So I think I'm gonna actually take away small headquarters. We're not gonna do the small headquarters. We'll put something else there instead. Uh, and we'll replace that component of our civilization with the medical university, which I feel like I'm just going to put it over here on this side. Uh, as long as it is in range of our future train station, which I think it will be. Uh, let's just real quick check. So from here, it's 370 to get there, that was said. 372. I mean, I'll have to have a walking path that goes straight through the middle here, too, so... Uh, with this being in, I can take this road, this walking path here, and we'll just kind of a little bit of a curve, but it'll be worth, yeah, so about there with that one. Uh, maybe I flip these around so that the walking paths are facing the other direction. These are the roads. I think if I flip these around, it'll be all right. Uh, the other thing I could do, and I was considering it, is having these roads stay disorientation and go in a box around this and then put the services in the middle. I was looking into that, but you also have to remember that we're going to need some sort of road connection. So there actually may be a better way to design this because um, you can move these, I guess. But what I'm thinking is, um, you know, just to kind of give it the aesthetic that some people I think are looking for is uh, we have the roads, the, the the buildings will actually just go like this, right? And then around like that, and then around like that. And then the services would be in the middle. We obviously have this big row of housing, but maybe I do another row on this side, and then there's just two houses around here. With a road that has to go through the middle, though, because we're going to need things like the pub and all that, and the, uh, another bistro, probably, or whatever the heck I want to deliver here. And that stuff needs road connections. And we don't, we're not going to be providing road connections at the moment. So, yeah. So, something to think about. I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll think about it. It's not it's not a big deal at the moment. They're not even done building half the things I need them. Or any of this. They're not, they're not building any of this right now. So, um, 
it's something to think about. Well, I really need to figure out first. I need to get the farms done first. And that is the, you know, the, the roads and stuff for the farms. We're going to see gravel start getting laid here. I think construction crews have enough to do at the moment. That's significantly more important than getting Cernakova up. Uh, like expanding here and getting these houses built so that we have more workforce coming into the, uh, the cableways. So they can totally, totally be able to walk here. Um, going on that note, we also need to get all the piping and stuff done in this area too. And like, if I can get this extra oil hooked up and delivered over here, then I have capacity for more people to work in here. And, uh, then I can, you know, unleash this to 500 people. And then I'm just cranking out fuel like crazy. We can then go in and get the, I think it's this building. Yep. The foreign pipeline connection. We can then build that. And then we're financially cured. Like we can do whatever we want then. I mean, if we have 500 people working here and we have a pipeline connection, it's, it's, there will never be a budget problem ever again at that point. Right? Like that's just it. We're just never going to have a problem with budget ever again. So, uh, we are almost out of debt. I mean, I could, I could eliminate the debt nearly if I, if I went in and said, okay, how about we drop a big payment on this and said, uh, maybe we go, maybe we go like this 60,000 over five years. And then we hit this one, nine, three, two, eight, nine. And now the debt is meaningless. It's uh, $32, 32 rubles a day. It's meaningless. So, uh, we did it. We're there. We're still back out of debt. And we have now another tunnel boring machine, which is gonna be sweet um i think once we get the scrapper up that's gonna be really awesome and then they're still building this too which they don't need to build this until there's people here but these people here are gonna need a job and uh you know they can work on these little tiny services and stuff but that's not good enough so oh hell maybe we just put the medical university right here and then we just put the housing around it i gotta think about it i'll do that for the next video okay take it easy guys love your faces thanks for watching hope that you'll uh Come back and watch the next one, too. Okay? Bye-bye.